Welcome to AnythingGermanShepherd.com. Should you buy a male or female German Shepherd? Let's have a look at the differences between them. Main Behavioral Differences Some dog lovers will claim that there are no temperament and behavioral differences between male and female dogs of the same breed. This is true to an extent, as each dog is an individual and will have his or her own unique personality. In general, male dogs are more prone to aggression and becoming territorial. Female dogs tend to be more sensitive and easier to train. And while male dogs are often most protective of their territory itself, females tend to be more protective of their family members, including their human pack. Physical differences between them. When deciding whether to purchase a male or female German Shepherd, you may also want to take size into account. Just like with many dog breeds, there's a slight size discrepancy between the adult male and female German Shepherds. According to the American Kennel Club, makes are usually between 24 and 26 inches tall, while females are between 22 and 24 inches. Males are also between 65 and 90 pounds, while females are generally between 50 and 70 pounds. If you're looking for a dog who is especially nimble, like if you're hoping to compete in agility or a similar discipline, a female dog may be the better choice. Differences in health issues. Over the course of the development of the German Shepherd, this breed has become predisposed to several genetic conditions. And according to the Mid-Atlantic German Shepherd Rescue, the fact that most of these issues are genetic means they may also be present in German Shepherd mixes. These health issues do not appear to be more common in female versus male German Shepherds. Hip and elbow dysplasia. These issues, especially hip dysplasia, are common in medium and large dogs, although the German Shepherd is especially prone. These issues result from a joint malformation that can cause walking and running to be painful. Since hip and elbow dysplasia are largely genetic, there are ways to reduce the risk of buying a dog who will develop one of these conditions. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals offers a way for breeders to certify their dogs. Bloat. Many dig breeds with large chests, including the German Shepherd, are very prone to bloating. This is similar to colic in horses bloat happens when there's a buildup of excess gas in the digestive tract, and the dog isn't able to expel it. If bloat is severe, most dogs will need surgery to survive. However, there are some steps you can take to reduce the risk of bloat. Try to stop your dog from eating too quickly, and avoid allowing your dog to drink large amounts of water right before eating. Degenerative myelopathy. This disease is effectively the canine version of multiple sclerosis. However, German Shepherds are the only dog breed to frequently be affected by degenerative myelopathy. This disease affects the spinal cord, and it gradually limits mobility. Currently, the only treatments are supportive, and there, unfortunately, is no cure. Epilepsy. This seizure disorder occurs in various dog breeds, and German Shepherds seem to be especially prone. The good news is that it's usually very treatable with anti-convulsant medications, which are not often expensive. Pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. This is a rare condition that seems to only impact German Shepherds. Dogs with this condition don't produce the pancreatic enzymes needed to properly digest dog food. This condition will often cause diarrhea and severe weight loss. Spaying and neutering. Why is spaying or neutering a good idea? As you've probably seen, many animal-focused organizations recommend spaying or neutering your pet. It also helps alleviate some of the behavioral problems associated with intact dogs. Intact males will often do whatever they can to find a mate. Intact male dogs will often mark territory by urinating, and this may sometimes even happen in your home. In female dogs, spaying will stop the onset of heat cycles. When should you not spay or neuter? While having your dog spayed or neutered is the right choice for many people, there are a few exceptions. Obviously, if you plan to breed your dog at some point, you won't want to spay or neuter. If you are planning to breed your dogs, it's best to first make sure they don't have any of the common genetic conditions that unfortunately plague many German Shepherds. If you aren't sure how to check for these, talk to your veterinarian or to a knowledgeable breeder. Cost of spaying or neutering. While spaying and neutering both prevent unwanted litters, there is a cost difference between the two. 
Spaying is a more complex surgery, so it is usually more expensive than paying for a dog to be neutered. However, it's worth noting that you can often save on the cost of a spay or neuter by going to a low-cost spay-neuter clinic. How do you choose the best dog for you? While you now have a good general overview of the differences between male and female German Shepherds, you'll need to decide which traits are most important to you. Ultimately, the most important thing is finding a dog whose personality traits you like. If you are choosing to purchase a puppy, many experts recommend doing some type of temperament testing. You can choose an established method that you like and follow that testing method. However, with both puppies and adult dogs alike, many potential owners simply interact with the dog to see if they are compatible personality types. Regardless of whether you use an official temperament test or not, keep in mind that a puppy's temperament doesn't necessarily mean the adult dog will behave the same way. Choosing a healthy, happy puppy or adult dog may take some time. Don't be afraid to take your time, ask questions, and interact with each dog you're considering. In time, you'll be able to find the right dog for you. If you want to know more about German Shepherds, then click on the link in the description. Like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we share something new.